It was a crisp autumn morning when one of the attendants, Alex, first spotted the tiny black puppy near the lot. It was a peculiar sight. The puppy looked more like a bear cub than a dog. Its fur was dark as night, and its eyes were filled with sorrow. The cub was constantly crying and howling as if searching for someone who had disappeared into thin air. Concerned for the little creature, the employees began to feed him, providing whatever scraps of food they could spare. Chernish became a cherished companion to the parking lot workers. They hoped that someone would come to claim him or provide him with the love and care he deserved. Then one fateful morning, the employees arrived at work to find Chernish missing. Panic coursed through them as they scoured the area, fearing the worst. Their hearts sank as they discovered the helpless puppy lying in the nearby bushes. Chernish was unable to get up, whimpering in pain, and it was clear that he had suffered a severe head injury. Tears welled up in the eyes of those who had grown attached to Chernish. Who could do such a cruel thing to such a defenseless creature? Why would someone hurt him and leave him to suffer alone? Without hesitation, they rushed Chernish to a nearby animal hospital. The prognosis was grim, and the volunteers who had cared for him worried that he might never recover. But they refused to give up hope. Day by day, Chernish fought to survive, his willpower stronger than anyone could have imagined. Slowly, he started to eat and move independently, proving that he was a fighter. Maria offered to take Chernish into her home, to be his family, to give him the love he deserved. Initially, the staff at the animal hospital hesitated, citing Maria's young age as a concern, but they could see the genuine compassion and determination in her eyes. In the end, they made an exception, allowing Maria to adopt Chernish. Months passed, and Chernish transformed from a weak and sad puppy into a beautiful and strong one. His glossy black fur gleamed, and his spirit was unbreakable. But the story doesn't end there. One day, Maria decided to visit a local animal shelter. There she found a lonely cat, just like Chernish had once been. Now in Maria's warm and loving household, Chernish and the cat, whom she named Luna, thrived together. They played, they cuddled, and they brought immeasurable joy to their young owner.